Hey, welcome to the Underground Treehouse. I'm Big Kenny Ann. It's Guy Show time. Now, I've never been one to judge. Whatever you do, do that. But I always caution people, go into it with your eyes wide open. Know exactly what it is you're getting yourself into. And growing up in my neighborhood in Chicago, there was this lady named Miss Joyce. She was uh, the last remaining active member of a notorious crime family in our neighborhood. Uh, they did it all. They were into drugs. They were into uh, prostitution. They were into gambling everything. And I say last active member because over the years they had either gone to jail or died off or went back south. They were originally from Louisiana and she was left to keep an eye on the neighborhood. So um, I had a friend named Tonio. Tonio was um, just a freakishly muscular, strong dude. He never played sports. He wasn't into fitness. He was just a strong dude for no reason. And he had an uncle that used to work for uh, Miss Joyce and her family. And her, his uncle got sick and eventually passed away. But Tonio uh, had a connection to them through that. And every time she'd see us out in the neighborhood, she'd always say, Tonio, before you get too hungry, baby, you come see me now. And that was her way of saying, I got some work for you if you ever need it. So uh, as we got older, the, the struggle for money became real. And Tonio went to see Miss Joyce one day. And Miss Joyce uh, told him, she said, I tell you what, uh, you go do me a favor and move some furniture for Ruby Nail. Now, Ruby Nail was her older aunt, a uh, still real good looking woman, you know, they black don't crack. Plus they was from Louisiana. So, uh, he went to go, uh, move this furniture for Ruby nail and she gave him $50. Uh, he comes back later and I was like, you know, uh, was it a big piece of furniture or something? Just making conversation. And he was, man, when I got over there, uh, I went to move the furniture and Ruby nail gave me some, uh, what? And he was like, yeah, you know, Miss Miss Ruby Nail was the cougar. She uh, went and gave the man uh, some dome. And he was like, I was, you know, fascinated. So I was like, and you made $50. So we laughed about that for a couple of days. And, you know, about a week or two later, she sent Tonio back over there. And Miss Ruby Nail hit him off again. Then about a couple of days later, she sent him in a cab to go move some furniture for her friend, Miss Ernestine. And Miss Ernestine did the same thing. Broke dude off with some dome and he got paid $50 by Miss Joyce. Well, he did it with Miss Ruby Nail several times, did it with Miss Ernestine a couple times. And then one day she sent them to move some furniture uh, for a lady named Miss Lottie. Now he say Miss Lottie smelled like cigarettes and she was old, old, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he went to move the furniture. Miss Lottie didn't even have no furniture. She was on some, hey, let me say that thing. And he was all reluctant. And Miss Lottie said, look, I didn't pay the $150. You need to come on now. And that's when it clicked for Tonio. Miss Joyce had been pimping him out. She was giving him 50 bucks to go move furniture for these older women. And they was doing their thing with him. And then she was keeping $100. So this is what he's thinking. He go back and he asked Miss Joyce, Miss Joyce, uh, that woman said she gave you $150 and she was expecting me to do some stuff with her. And Miss Joyce looked him in the face and said, baby, the game to be sold, not to be told. I can't give you no more than 59. If you need more than that, I get somebody else to move furniture. And uh, my man, Tonio felt used because he had morals and he stopped working for Miss Joyce and uh, life went on. But uh, that was the thing. Uh, the lesson that I learned is keep your eyes wide open because when you think it's benefiting you, it might be actually benefiting somebody else, which is cool, but just know that it's a mutual benefit involved.